As a parent raising a child with ADHD or autism, you probably have used a variety of therapies and interventions like occupational therapy, speech therapy, vision therapy, tutoring, etc. Accessing these services often involves a lot of time and money. It's the referral forms, the intake forms, the insurance forms, the scheduling, it just never ends. But how do you know if the service is actually working? This is a question that many of my clients ask. So I'm going to give you four guidelines that will help you determine if it's working or not. And the last one is my favorite. So one, get some frequent progress updates from the provider about the goals that you and the provider have agreed on. Setting goals should always be a collaborative process. Two, make sure that the provider's feedback makes sense to you, regardless of how much training and experience they have. Three, the progress you're looking for is often going to be with behavior, academics, social interaction, communication, independence, confidence across settings. And four, this is my favorite, make sure that your child is engaged when receiving the service. Children learn best when they're interested. So if your child is refusing, complaining, hiding, crying, it's probably not a good match. Many providers will try to convince you otherwise, and it's a shame. If your child's experience with therapy is repeatedly stressful, it is going to create more harm than good. Each session needs to be conducted in a way that is meaningful to your child, regardless of their challenges and abilities. If your child is not engaged, it's not your child's fault. It's the provider's responsibility to find a better way. So trust your intuition as a parent. You know your kid best. I'd love to hear your thoughts.